Hey everybody, Mark here, and I'm going to do my Prusa i3 Mark II Quick Tips number three. Up top, I have some Ninja Flex. This is the really flexible Ninja Flex, and I want to show how to to load it into the extruder. Um, I notice when you go down here and you and you go and and do your preheat cycle. Let's go preheat, and it does all those different materials. This is awesome. This is a great building feature. But you click on your flexible. And it'll start heating up, so everything's basically good. Let's turn the machine to the side. Um, I noticed that when you press go, you might be able to see this. Here we set. When you press go, let's see if we can capture this on load filament. You might notice the extruder moving really, really fast. And if you can see on the side, it is getting all jammed up inside that. Do you see that? That is horrible. Um, so I'll show you a way to fix this. Okay, so I just cut away and I pulled the filament back out by using this top spring. And I'm going to go into the load filament again. But I'm going to do something different. Once I press load filament, I'm actually going to grab this trigger up here um, and make sure that the idler does not touch the filament. Um, just while the motor's spinning fast, I notice that every one of these commands when you press uh, when you press go to load filament, it's the same one. Um, so it's not dependent on what the filament is. It it goes really fast to load the filament, and then it slows down um, to load it slower. So I'm gonna try to do this really quick. Go to load filament. And I'm gonna grab this. So see how fast it's going? It's not applying pressure to the filament. And when it stops going so fast, you'll see it actually will drop down going so fast right there now you let go and it'll load the filament just fine without a problem and that is how I've learned how to load the filament um, easier uh, with the Prusa i3 Mark II and you can see it's coming out just fine um, I guess the Prusa research team maybe they'll make a slow load uh, for this flexible material um, but that's the way I'm getting around this problem right now if you like my videos, please subscribe. If you like what I'm doing, um, please give me a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. And happy printing.